Today we're going to review the sadia, or at the feast meal, that's typically served in Kerala. Often it's served during weddings and other festival celebrations, as well as onam. As you may recall in the presentation, this is a celebration of one of the avatars. The sadia is, a, as I said, a traditional festive meal, and it is served on a plantain leaf. It's important that the plantain leaf is arranged from the narrow end on the left-hand side facing the partner to the left. The meal itself is eaten with the right hand only. And the meal is often prepared by the females in the household the evening before, and it is finished the next morning, before 10 a.m., because the sadia is served often as a lunch feast. Now, in addition to the plantain leaf arrangement being important, the order of the food that's placed on the, the plantain leaf and the order in which it is eaten has important cultural implications, which we'll discuss in a moment. The first thing that's served during the sadia is on the bottom left-hand corner, and that's going to be the papadum and chips. Those papadum are typically going to be fried plantains. They're a creamy yellow color, um, and they may also be formed out of lentil flour. Typically, this would be what we in the United States consider appetizers. Now, above the papadum and chips, you will find pickles and puli inji. Those pickles could be anything from a typical cucumber pickle, or they could be pickled ginger. As we mentioned earlier, spice is incredibly important in India, and specifically in Kerala, which is known as the land of spice. Now, above the pickles and the papadum, from the left to the right, are arrangement of side dishes. And during a typical sadia feast, you may find anywhere from 28 to 32 different side dishes that are served. Some examples include rasam, which is actually a watery dish made of tamarind, tomatoes, and certain spices. Uh, kaolin, which is made out of yogurt, coconut, and any one type of vet vegetable Often it's going to be a plantain. Olan, which is pumpkin, coconut milk, and ginger, and then served with coconut oil. A veal, which is a various thick mixture of vegetables and coconut, and once again served with coconut oil. And pachati, which is a sweet form of kachati, which is yogurt and cucumbers. And it's, also, it's mixed with pineapple, grape, and coconut. So as you can see, a lot of that coastal influence is coming out in the sadia feast with the coconut, the pineapple, a lot of fruit and plantains. In the middle of the plantain leaf you'll find Kerala red rice and that red rice or basically rice in itself is really that main staple in the Kerala diet. Above the rice are going to be served savories and desserts. So the savories are going to be the sweeter dishes. Parapu, um, Sambar and curd, which I already discussed for some. Sambar is a thick gravy made out of lentils and tamarind. And the final dish that's served is payasam. And it is typically going to be something similar to what we consider a rice pudding. It's, um, they use goat's milk to thicken it, and it's cooked for a long period of time. They uh, add spices like ginger, cinnamon, and vanilla, and it's typically served with raisins and cashew nuts on top. It's very creamy, very sweet, and savory, and it's also seasoned with coconut oil. As I mentioned before, the order of foods is just as important as the foods themselves. So typically the foods are going to be served from heavier foods to light foods, and it's thought that these are going to aid in proper digestion. Additionally, the spice is going to be heavier with the earlier foods that are served, and it's going to shift towards more subtle, um, more light and delicate flavors. And that's to represent the shift from materialism at the beginning of the feast to one of spirituality towards the end of the feast. Now on this next page, you'll see an actual photo of a sadia feast. As you can see, uh, the rice in the middle with a variety of side dishes on the top, and off to the side, they would have a dish of payasam or curd or rasam, the savory sweet dishes that are served as desserts.